How about a zombie? Just speak and the Kinect picks up your voice. I want brains. And the characters are so fluid, they just snap into your body. You just move and the character moves along with you. People get in front of it and they just light up. It's completely seamless. There's zero friction, anybody can do it. I want <laughs> And there's just so much fun. Kind of magical. <laughs> freaking genius, we take everyday people and allow them to realize their creative potential. With Connect for Windows, we're able to remove all of the friction in bringing things to life on the screen. How can we make this dog possibly cuter? They step in front of these simple, fun, easy-to-use products, and before you know it, through their fun, laughing experience, they actually just made something. And I'm only eight weeks old, and I'm already potty trained. Adopt me! So we've been using Yakit in the first million videos that have been created with it, using only gesture in your mouth, bringing the photo to life. Layering the Kinect on top is real-time avatarian. You just step in front of it, and now you can bring all those characters to life fully articulated. It has better skeletal tracking so that when somebody jumps in front of our app, it's immediately immersive. It is the best way to create animations. What used to take 30 minutes now takes 10 seconds. One of the biggest pieces that I'm honestly really excited about is getting to work with some of the world's biggest brands, all of their content, the characters, the props, all of this content that has just been sitting. Now it has an opportunity to come to life on this platform in a way that has never before been possible. And it's gonna flip animation on its head. Hmm, okay. <laughs> We've seen it used in the classrooms to do their history or English reports, telling little narratives, learning nutritional value, talking through the eyes of a fruit or a veggie. But you should meet me. I'm an apple. I'm an antioxidant. Just playing, storytelling, having fun, people just goofing around, where they're not just consuming content, they're actually being creative. They're making things. I want And removing the barrier to interacting with technology in this way it doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter what your economic or educational background is. Anybody can step forward and really shape the future.